was a little Beethoven, he played for Mozart, a prepared work for Mozart's own oeuvre, a sonata in C minor. But Mozart was terribly unimpressed. Ah, nothing special. Anyone can read music and play it back as if he is an organ grinder's monkey. What makes an artist is invention. And Mozart left the room. The 16 year old Beethoven became so panic stricken that he immediately began to improvise on a somewhat similar theme in a new key. <laughs> Upon hearing this, Mozart picked his head back into the room and could be heard saying to some friends who were there, Gentlemen, I am afraid I have been mistaken. <laughs> we must watch this boy, for now I can hear that one day he may just give the world something to talk about. <laughs> and, in, and you see, because Beethoven creates this emotional connection to music and to art, everything in the Western music change after this. You have to understand, the poetry became self-expression, the enlightenment, you have to think. And the artists and the painters and, and, and the prose and everybody who was writing, anyone who expressed himself of artist. In Western Europe, you have to understand, this is what happened, Beethoven is the one who changed everything. Hmm? And after this came Fidelio, the grand opera, then the quatuor, the quartet, and the duos, and the trios, and the sonatas, and the concerti. One after the other is a man expressing his inner deepest emotional turmoil or to emotional happiness. So, if we look at this, he also had very many what loved him, and very many what thought it was nothing but noise and banging. But, brilliant banging, ah. Why? Because no matter who loved him and who despised him, no matter who, everyone agreed that Beethoven was super genius above everyone else and that Beethoven was the composer's composer. 